Hello and welcome to this video about chain map in Python. Um, this is a little trick, but I have seen really well seasoned developers that don't know about it and I think it's kind of useful, so let's just look at it. Imagine you have a situation where you have several dictionaries like this and your task is to find the value corresponding to this key which might be present in one of these dictionaries. But the thing is you don't know if the key is present at all in any of these dictionaries and if it is there you still don't know in which of them it is. So um, in that scenario what you have to do is basically to go through um, all the dictionaries and try to get the value correspond to that key. So for that dictionary you can use the get method saying hey give me that key and the get method um, tries to find it if the key is not there it will return something which by default would be none um, and so afterwards we can just check and say hey um, if we have a value let's say we want to print it out so we could do that, and that kind of works, but there is a little bit of a caveat here, which is that um, we are checking again because we know that uh, this will return none, but if our value is, for example, zero, this will be also falsy, so we have to, uh, not, I mean, in that case, we wouldn't find anything, so. Um, we should explicit, explicit check for this return here I mean for the case where it returns none and and then we find what we want but still there's one more problem which is that even after we found the key in the in this case the second dictionary we are still going through the rest of the dictionaries in this case this third one and that might be something that something that you don't want to do because for example say it's kind of critical for your system so you want to really uh, kind of break out of this logic as soon as you find uh, a value for that key so here's the thing you want to kind of break out of that and that will actually make it but as you see here this chunk here is a bit kind of clunky so chain map is actually the solution for this scenario so we can import from the built-in module collections uh, we're going to import chain map and as the name says chain map is basically a concatenation of mappings in this case dictionaries so we pass the dictionaries we unpack them here because we have them in a tuple here and in this construct, I mean, this construct has, has already this logic kind of built in. Um, of course, th there are a couple more checks that are in this uh, object, but the idea is, is that. So we can basically directly try to find our key in this chained kind of construct. And this thing also behaves kind of as we expect. So, for example, if we try to find a key that is in is not present in any of the dictionaries well it will raise a key error which is the thing you would expect for a dictionary and another thing which again is pertaining to the logic is that uh, let's say for example that uh, our key is repeated in some other dictionary um, if um, our key is, is repeated well when we look for it we're actually going to retrieve only the first occurrence of it and well that was not a, not a good example now let's see this way it's the first occurrence because again as soon as we find it we kind of break out of that um, so in other words a thing to watch out when you do this is that the order in which you go through the dictionaries or in which you construct this 
chained uh, mapping um, is actually important. So for example if I swap these two elements here the dictionary 2 and the dictionary 3 well then um, the result will be different because now this key is going to be found before this one. Actually this one is not going to um, be found because we kind of break out of that loop. So something to kind of watch out. So that was it. Um, I think JMAP is a little bit of a, little bit of a neat tool. Um, so I hope you learned something.